In this video, we are going to solve one question based on what the regenerative braking. Okay, regenerative braking of what DC separately excited motor. Here we have the question. It is given a 220 volt, 200 amps, 800 rpm DC separately excited motor has armature resistance 0 0.06 ohm. So what are the things given? The given things will write. Okay, so 220 volts. It is nothing but the voltage. It is given as 220. Okay, fine. Let us go for next thing that is 200 amps. It is IA1. Okay, IA1. That's 200 amps. Next, 800. What is that? 800 RPM. So, 800 RPM is nothing but that is N1. N1 is equal to 800 RPM. Okay. Next, armature resistance is given. That is nothing but I can write it as RA. RA is armature resistance 0 0.06 ohms. Then, armature is spread from a variable voltage source with an internal resistance of this thing internal resistance let me name it as rp 0 0.04 ohms calculate the internal voltage of variable source voltage source when the motor is operating in regenerative braking at 80 percent of low torque and 600 rpm so one more rpm has come that is n2 that is 600 rpm okay now here we have to calculate what internal voltage this is what you have to calculate of voltage source so internal voltage basically means the formula is internal voltage it is nothing but e2 minus ia2 into ra plus rb this is the formula where ra and rb is given in the question itself that is inter armature resistance and internal resistance that is 0 0.06 and 0 0.04 now we have to calculate e2 as well as ia2 ia1 in, is given in the question we have to calculate ia2 okay so let us first calculate ia2 for that so for calculating ia2 what you have to do See, we know that torque is directly proportional to the armature current so we can write it as what ta2 by ta1 is equal to ia2 by ia1 okay this is the formula for calculating ia2 remember this now here ta2 by ta1 what we have to put here see they have said about when the motor is operating in regenerative braking 80 percent of the load torque that means they are talking about this ratio 80 percent they are talking about what ratio they are talking about so i can just write it as what 0 0.8 okay 0 0.8 so instead of ta2 by t1 i can write it as 0 0.8 why because 80 percent is 0 0.8 okay is equal to ia2 by ia1 ia2 we have to calculate so i will write it as as it is ia1 is given in the question which is 200 amps so from this i can get ia2 so ia2 will be equal to what 0 0.8 into 200 which is equal to 160 amps this is what i got for ia2 now ia2 we got so this part is finished that is 160 let us go for e2 calculation calculating e2 so for calculating e2 remember formula is e2 by e1 is equal to n2 by n1 simple so where we have n2 and n1 it is given n2 is there n1 is there everything is there now e1 what is e1 now e1 is nothing but V minus IARA. Remember this formula. E1 is V minus IARA. Where V is given as 220 volts. V is given 220 volts. Minus IA value is what? 200 amps. In the question, whatever value is given, armature current that only you have to take. N2 armature resistance is 0 0.06. So this gives the answer as 208 volts. So E1 I also I got. Now I can just substitute in this. So my answer will be simple see here so n2 and n1 is given n2 is 600 n1 is 800 e1 i got just now that is 208 so e2 by 208 is equal to 600 by 800 so from this e2 i will get it as bring 200 200 208 that side so 600 by 800 into 208 so calculating this i'll get the value as 156 volts 
so e2 also i got now finding we calculate e2 as well as i2 correct i2 and e2 we calculated now we have to just substitute this value here our internal voltage will be what is equal to e2 value 156 minus 160 into 0 0.06 plus 0 0.04 which will give me the value as 140 volts this is nothing but the internal voltage of the variable source so simple calculation from last you have to come from the last formula you have to come okay